Okay guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Santos Capilian Jr. Always wishing you a good day, guys. Uh, welcome to our part 4 of this series uh, video tutorial for uh, function block programming. Okay, now today what I'm going to do is to change the system. So this is an exhaust fan. Okay, now I, I will say uh, exhaust fan uh, soup. Okay, soup. Apply and exhaust fan, okay, for gen set room. Okay. Now, uh, so the system, I changed the system so that we can add more blocks, okay. Now, the system is for supply and exhaust fan uh, ventilation, I would say ventilation. For genset room. Okay. Now, actually, in the Middle East, uh, if you are uh, going to join a building management system there, you will be able to find this system. Because there will be always, in a building, there will be always a standby power or standby generator set. Okay. Now, there are some uh, of sequence of operation in a uh, standby generator set, especially related also to fire alarm system. Okay. Now for the BMS, okay, let's say you will be the one or the BMS will be the one to control the operation of the supply fan and the exhaust fan. Now we need the supply fan to supply fresh air inside the room. Then the exhaust fan will be the one to vent out the hot air, which is being generated by the uh, generator set especially when it is running okay so uh, the sequence of operation start ef then i will add also start sf and ef when it is in auto mode okay no no problem open there is fire alarm open there is ef3 sf okay so sf and ef3 alarm Monitor the running hours, raise an alarm if the problem in the fan motors, okay, fan motors. So I will say fan motors because we added another motor here. If one, oh, S, oh, I will say this one, uh, SF and EF run hours, exceeds by one, then raise an alarm and automatically stop the fans. Okay. Now, uh, Okay, fun. Then I will add another instruction here like uh, when this fan will run. Uh, start, okay, start this fan when gen set is running. Okay. So let's say uh, there is a power failure in the building then this generator will automatically provide the uh, emergency load okay so start this fans when genset is running now eight uh, when normal power is back uh, let this fans run for at least uh, five minutes before stopping the funds. Okay, so that will be the coverage of this uh, part four. Okay, so let me. Okay, so let me uh, do the necessary adjustment with our control. Okay, so what we need to do now is create. Okay, so let me zoom out. Okay, another zoom out. Okay, now what I will do, I will try to, okay, I will try to copy all these things, okay? So this is a fast way of control C, then control B, okay? So we will, uh, Copy. Okay. Now, once you copy, uh, once you copy, make sure 
uh, you will change the all the identifier okay so again this will be the sf now okay sf wait cup like sf now the bindings i will change the bindings we will see what uh, so i will say it is now the five terminal five okay okay then this one i need to change this also fire alarm okay now uh, actually when there is fire so actually there will be only one fire in the building so i can remove this one okay no need to create or duplicate the fire alarm okay so this one i need to remove this also okay because there will be only one fire alarm in the building okay so you will consider one fire alarm in the building in the entire building so this one i will change this to sf then change the binding so the binding there is six okay we'll use the six okay and three also no we will uh three is already occupied then esf run sf then let's do the uh, okay seven terminal seven okay okay then this one is i will change this to sf so this is the beauty of making your identifier in this way because it's easy to change okay then this one i will change this to sf okay now we can change of course let's change also the so the wiki k2 or relay number two okay then this one it will be sf okay then uh, we will say here sf sf edit okay s then s okay okay now this one will be our sf okay now do i have some okay now it's okay then uh this one will be sf okay then this one will be sf okay now okay now is everything changed okay it's almost changed now but i have here an unconnected input okay now uh it will run if there is no fire also so i will try to create a node here create a node because i'm going to use the same uh fire alarm signal okay so that will be my uh that will be my new logic for the new system. Supply and exhaust fan ventilation for a generator set room. Now, actually, start this punch when gen set is running. So, uh, apart from it is in automatic, there is no trip in each fan. We have to run this only when uh, there is, uh, I mean, when the generator is running. Okay? So... I need another input here. So I will specify an input here. Simple block DI. Okay. So I will name this one as uh, gen set run status. Okay. So generate generator set run status okay then i need to do the binding then again i will select my io module or my digital io module okay there are eight digital inputs there then i almost use all the okay now okay so as you know i already used most of my digital inputs in that module for 11 so i need to Again, I will have to go to my where um, device specification here. Then I need to add IO module. Okay. Now, when the system is growing or becoming big, you need more. Uh, okay. Uh, add, add. Okay. Another IO module. Okay. So I have now uh, module number three, which is the same for eleven. Okay. Because this module is already. Most of the points are occupied, and it is a good practice to leave some spare. Okay. Now, anyway, 
Uh, gen set. So meaning I need to break somewhere here. Okay. So I need to break somewhere here. Okay. So let me move it like that because I'm going to insert a logic there. Okay. So I need this gen set. So maybe I'd have to remove, I'd have to delete the node. Then again, I will create an end block. Okay. So as you notice, it will be just combination of logic gates. Okay. So if everything is okay, automatic, there's no trip, there's no fire, then we need to include this uh, control in our logic. Okay, so I will add it here. Likewise, I need to use it also here. Okay, uh, delete node because uh, simple black end. Okay. Knowing this uh, control logic, it will give you a good head start if you are new to the building management system. Okay, so I will create a node here, create a node. So I will use it in my, okay. Okay, so that will be the uh, start this punch when genset is running. Don't forget to still include the logic above. Okay, so from one to six. So it should be considered also. Okay, then uh, when normal power is back, let this punch run for another five minutes. Okay, so what are you going to do here is you need to create a you need to create a what to call this one. Okay, so that is a problem. Okay. So anyway, uh, I will try to. Okay. Now, so I will let these two funds run for another five minutes when the uh, gen set run status is gone. Okay. So how are you going to do that? Now, first, we need to delete this uh, node. Uh, okay, 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 wait. Delete the node, delete the node. Then we need to add a simple block. This time, this is delay. So I'm introducing now delay block. Okay, now, so this is my delay block. Okay. Now, when I receive a uh, signal wherein telling me that the generator set stops, I will create an off delay, okay? So meaning I will not immediately remove, I will not immediately remove my command to my EF, okay? So delay, so let us, I will make it public because maybe in the future, I will try to make it uh, adjustable, okay? So identifier, this one is, uh, what did you say, off, okay. Uh, funds of delay, okay? Because maybe in my graphics, I will try to make it adjustable, okay? So delay on, so during starting from zero to one, we will not have any delay. But from one to zero, we will say, uh, I think this one is in five in seconds, okay? So what did I put here? So if it is uh, five minutes, five times 60, that is 300. So I will delay 300 seconds, okay? Now the same, uh, the same approach will be used for supply plan. Okay, so what I'm going to do, instead of creating another, uh, okay, I think I need to create another delay. Okay, so I need to create another delay here. I will create uh, delay here. So I will remove it, delete, then I will uh, create a delay block again. Okay, delay. Okay, 
So, now in the new version, you might find it a little bit different, but the concept is the same, okay? So here, likewise, so I will say this one, I will make it public. SF, what is this? SF, okay, SF of delay. Okay, the reason why I'm doing this is because later I will change the set point here. Maybe it's not five minutes, maybe it's 10 minutes, okay? Maybe it will depend on the size of the generator and the generator room, okay? Now this one, I will change this to uh, EF so that it's more specific, okay? So that will be our uh, new uh, program, control logic program for the given sequence of operation, okay? So this is a ventilation system for a generator room where generator, uh, where this ventilation will, ru will run when the generator set is running, okay? So, okay, then the problem here is this. Uh, because it will stop uh, immediately, maybe later we need to uh, we need to increase the uh, runtime alarm here, okay? Because we don't want, we don't want that. Okay, so I need, I think in part five, I need to do something here because this logic is not correct. Because imagine if it is running, then it reaches the set point for the run hours, then it will stop. That is not the correct logic, okay? So part five, we're going to work on the this logic, we need to correct it, okay? So for the time being, this will be the uh, part five or part four of this tutorial, okay? We will, let's save it, then let's see if we can simulate it. Okay, no problem. So no error, so we can simulate it, okay? Now the simulation is the same, execute it, then put it in automatic, uh, put it also in automatic, then run the generator. Where is the, run the generator? Okay, as you can see here. Uh, okay. Both fans are working. Okay, let's remove the generator. Okay. Okay, the generator is done, but you can see here this. Okay, there is some time of delay there. That is the off delay. Okay. So guys, uh, that is how this, again, okay, stop first, okay, then go to edit. So this is how this new sequence of operation will uh, be written, the control logic, I mean, will be written for this new sequence of operation. But for what's for the part, part five, I'm going to do something because this is not correct logic. We stop it when it is running, okay? So maybe we will, uh, when the generator stops, then uh, then it's already cooled down. I mean, the room is already, I mean, the fans runs after the, I mean, the off delay is gone, then maybe that's the time we can stop the, uh, gener uh, the funds when it exceeds the run hour set point. Okay, so that will be our scope in part five. Now, what I want to show you is how are you going to slowly develop the control logic program for a specific uh, equipment given the sequence of operation. So once again, guys, uh, I'm inviting you. If you are new to this channel, please help me promote my channel then uh, let me go to my just a minute just give me a minute okay now uh, once again if you are new to my channel please help me promote it by subscribing and you can always uh, put your comments and uh, share and like this tutorial okay so uh, let me go back to my, it's okay. So once again, uh, before I will end this uh, tutorial, God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now.